Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame and welcome back to another one of Game Dame Reacts where we are now reviewing an exclusive developer diary for the newest Lego game, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. And I'm excited to see because I haven't really played much of the Lego games and this would be such a great intro for me to do a let's play for you guys on this channel. So without further ado, let's get a sneak, let's get a closer look into this exclusive developer diary for the Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I've been a massive fan of Lego and Star Wars since I was very young. There's lightsabers, there's spaceships, there's weird aliens. It was just a privilege to be able to work on the game. It's Hell yeah, that's a awesome. franchise that spans all generations. It does. It really does. For now, all generations for now. As soon as we started talking about doing a new Lego Star Wars game, the ambition swelled because as fans, we love all the movies and to have the opportunity well, not to all tell of them. the whole saga <laughs> but you know, from episode one all the way through to episode nine, we knew we had to take it further than we'd ever been. Yeah, that is we true. We started off by having that regular meetings true. with Lego and Lucasfilm discussing just everything about the visual design of Star Wars, what makes a Star Wars game, how we might integrate Lego into this game. They gave us access to all of their libraries, which was the That's greatest thing awesome. to be able to dig into. The storytelling throughout Lego Star Wars is incredible and filled with jokes and funny <laughs> moments. Yeah, because it is. in a Lego game, we have freedom. You can use the humor and we can spin it. So Han Solo is still being Han Solo but he might have a banana instead of a blaster or something like that. That's hilarious. Really yeah, that's really good. The game and get something that felt familiar, but reinvented. The systems, the frameworks we put in place to enable us mm -hmm. to do that over like a hundred different gameplay mechanics and all the different systems that make up that game. Real-time processing on the voices. So when you pick up a helmet and you put it on, your voice changes to sound like you're a stormtrooper. Well, looks like you've got a stormtrooper problem you should look into. We're putting a lot exactly. of Exactly, that's lighting, awesome. The, the attention We've to had detail. Something like 12,000 materials that were generated for the game, 20,000 unique models, and 26,000 textures. If you're a fan of that's a lot Lego of textures. Company's work, you'll be amazed at the resolution and the amazing work that the models team have done. We get to recreate all of these iconic designs literally brick by brick. We built brick the ships entirely out of Lego bricks. So that's not just the exterior of the ship, that's the interior. So you can land inside these ships and walk around in an environment entirely made out of Lego bricks. If you were to build one of our capsule ships in real life, it would take millions and millions of bricks. That's We've designed insane. some of the characters That's actually that don't insane. exist as physical models. What we would do is we'd look at the film reference and we'd take existing Lego creatures and characters that are mm -hmm. similar. And then what we end up with is something that is as accurate as we could make it. Take the Bantha, for example. So it's just really true to Lego IP and it's really true to the film IP. It is. It's really true to both. I mean, I can't what even imagine how to make so a lot of these animals look a lot more Lego-like. But really add something a bit more modern in, a bit more fresher. One of the things we've done in this game is we've gone for a third-person camera. With the blaster combat in the game, we really wanted to make it feel more visceral. Now when you use the blaster combat, we bring the camera down, we get into this like third-person perspective and it just really makes you feel like more in the action which is pretty hell great. yeah Using i love the force that is a huge part of the game the jedi Obviously. the, the Sith, they all have this force power where they can literally pick objects off the floor and fling them about we really took advantage of that force power that we haven't done in previous games you can fly into space and there's like just interactions that will happen giant ships like a star destroyer coming in you can try and fight it and you go defeat it and you can capture it and take it over i think when we're making these games we think about the fans a lot so there's a few easter eggs in this game some stuff that we're really excited yes to get in. i love you can good switch easter all eggs the weapons so that it's mouth noises so you'll be like pew pew 
And I course, I uh, love he that. Might have a little thing called mumble mode. Yes, so mumble, mumble mode is basically mode. how the old Star Wars games were. We had to rely on animation, expression, and these sort of mumbles that mimicked the speech. It goes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the mumbles. Your work the mumble together. mode seems On amazing. A scale like this really makes it feel. <laughs> I would die. Special. This is the ultimate experience of going everywhere in the universe as whatever character you want and really being in Star Wars. And I can't wait for players to see the hard work. It's been a really ambitious project. What they've achieved, they should be rightfully proud of. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, like the, the amount of work that they put into it, and it's not like they've slacked on anything either. And I really, really love that about uh, most of the Lego games. When I used to work at uh, GameStop when I was in high school, uh, a lot of the Lego games were coming out, and I definitely played a bit of them, and they were a lot of fun. I thoroughly enjoyed just looking at them, just because they provided a lot of like accuracy, but a lot of fun incorporating between for all ages. So you guys gotta let me know if you guys are gonna pick up this game, because I so I most certainly will be. Uh, picking up this game. Um, it looks like it's gonna be what for series X and one. I hope it's on uh, PC as well. I don't see anything else. I'm pretty positive. It's also on PC But I'm going to be playing the crap out of this for you guys on my YouTube channel But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching I highly appreciate your time as always, but please do not forget to subscribe and to follow not only to my YouTube but to my twitch You guys know where my YouTube is at you can find my twitch at twitch.tv slash the game Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.